In today's video, we go ahead and check out the new Foot Birthday SBC card, Baku. Baku is an 87 rated card with 90 pace, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 88 dribbling, 77 defending, and 85 physical. He stands at 5 foot 9, has high medium work rates, right footed with 3 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot. If we go ahead and look at his alternative positions, boys, we can see a lot of versatility with the card, which is absolutely incredible. Center mid, right back, right mid, and also right wing. His in-game stats show us that he is an incredibly well-rounded card, very close to Hilligang. 90 pace overall is absolutely incredible with 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. 82 shooting is also a pretty decent stat for the card. He does have 85 attack and positioning, 83 finishing, 86 shot power, and also 82 long shots. 82 passing could probably be a bit better, especially if you do want to play him at that center mid or even right mid position. But he still does have 84 vision with 89 crossing, 83 short pass, 78 long pass, and 89 curve. 88 dribbling is probably where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most as he does have 88 agility, 94 balance, 84 reactions, and also 83 composure. 77 defending again is a pretty decent stat. Probably not if you do want to play him at the right back position, but if you do want to go ahead and play him in a more advanced role, 77 defending is still pretty decent. 81 interceptions, 81 defensive awareness, 77 stand tackle, and 83 slide tackle. And then last but not least, boys, and again, a very solid stat for the card is his 85 physical, 80 jumping, 95 stamina, 81 strength, and 82 aggression. His player traits do show us that he does have a few added bonuses to the card, dives into tackles, long shot taker, and also speed dribbler traits. If you guys do enjoy these FIFA 23 player reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. This is the team boys that we're going to be using in three games of foot champions to test out the new Baku card. We're going to be playing him at the center mid position in a 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one, and I feel like a lot of people are going to go ahead and sleep on the card. I'm really excited to test them out. We're coming up against, ooh, team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne, Locatelli, Mares, Ibrahimovic, Garincha, Di Maria. That's a really solid team. All right, first touch for Rido Baku. I do want to go ahead and test out his dribbling. As you guys can see, he feels actually quite quick, and he does have the long shots. I take a trait. All right, boys, moving right along. That's a fantastic finish. And he is going to pick up some very advanced positions, but that's okay. Baku, nice heel teal. Can he finish? Ooh, just wide. That was a pretty good attempt. I love the versatility on the card. You can play him in so many different positions right there. A great tackle on Ibrahimovic. Baku, nice. Ooh, good dribbling right there. He feels quick. Yeah, he feels really quick and swift. I like that. Oh, lovely acceleration. Still with it. His acceleration seems to be really nice, which is great. El Sharawi, good run by Baku, brings it down. Ooh, I probably should have taken a touch. Pogba with a good tackle. Sao. Oh, Baku literally just picks up whatever position he wants. That's a nice heel teal, good ball as well. Oh, Di Natale has to score. I don't know why he didn't shoot. Baku's making a run. We're going to go ahead and play to him. His touch, the touch away from the defender is so nice on the card. Can he get himself an assist? Played across. It's a great ball. Baku, man, great. Trent plays it down the line. El Sharawi. I'm going to send Baku on a little bit of a run. Here he is. Try Trivella. He's gone with his left foot. Oh, man, that was a great attempt. Don't know why he went with his left foot. I feel like it was on his right. But we still do have possession. Nice. Baku. Can he find the back of the net? Great finish. I'm telling you guys, from the center mid position or maybe even the right mid position, it's a really solid card. And I feel like Baku's uh, attacking positioning so far has been really good. Good strength right there. Oh, Baku still with it. Takes a heavy touch. Boys, he is clinical, man. The long shot taker trait on the card is absolutely phenomenal. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. A great first game by uh, performance by Baku. Let's go ahead and see who we're coming up against. He does have Drugba, Rashford, Madueke, Pedro. It's a pretty decent team. Oh, that Marquezio is on smoke. Pogba. Baku, El Sharawi, Di Natale, it's a good play. Can we get a goal back in this game? Rido Baku, still with it. Can he find the back of the net? The goalkeeper was quick off of his line. But great attacking positioning again. Trent with a good interception. El Sharawi, Baku. Ooh, great ball into Di Natale through the middle. His passing has been solid. Di Natale, come on boys. And Baku gets himself an assist. That was a lovely pass, man. Pogba. Good turn. Bobby Moore. Rido Baku, nice heel teal. He's not going to miss, man. He's not going to miss. That's a fantastic finish. And again, great attacking positioning. Baku, good acceleration. Oh, Rido Baku, still with it. 
That's a decent strike. The angle was kind of tight. Pogba. Back into Baku. He's going to hit a Trivella. Ooh, that was a decent attempt. His long shots are really, really solid. Pogba. Back into Baku. You know what? If El Sharawi can make a good run, we can play it to him. It's a great ball again. Right in the stride of El Sharawi. We're going to go for the chip. He's cleared it off of the line, man. So many chances. Great tackle. Great pressure. Di Natale. Baku. Great ball. Can he finally get himself an assist? I don't think it's going to go down as a Baku assist because he did get a touch to it. But again, his passing from that center mid position has been really, really solid. All right, boys, here we are jumping into our final game. And I did go ahead and check. And Rido Baku in his previous game did end up getting a goal and two assists. Fantastic performance. Next game, we're coming up against, wow, Mbappe and Ketia, Saka, Bruno Gumeras, Odegaard, Fabio Vieira. That's a really, really good team. Good dribbling. He's still with it. Rido Baku. He's still with it, man. He's, my opponent defends quite weird. Like, he doesn't really step with anyone. Oh, Baku. Finish. Oh, he has to score, boys. He did everything right. Sao with a good interception. The little link up between Sao and Baku has been really good. Baku with an advanced roll. Nice. Great touch. Plays it across. Di Natale heel to heel. And finds the back of the net. That's a fantastic goal. The run that Baku made to like the right wing position was really nice. Again, Baku is on the edge of the box. You can go ahead and play to him. Nice. Oh, Baku still with it. Telling you guys, it's a clinical card, man. And what a finish that is. And we do end up getting the rage whip. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new foot birthday Rido Baku card in three games of foot champions. In those three games, he managed to pick up five goals and get four assists from the center mid position, which is absolutely incredible. So boys, in order to complete the SPC, it is an 85 rated team with one informed card. So you're looking at around 75,000 coins to complete. And I will go ahead and say that I do think that the prices may be a tad bit expensive. I feel like an 84 rated team would have been more suitable for it. But again, it's still a really solid card for the price. The three pros that I did win this with the card were definitely his pace, his finishing, and then also his dribbling. Really solid pace on the card overall. You don't even have to really put on a chemistry cell that's going to bump it up even more. 90 pace with 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed is really solid for a center mid or maybe even a right mid, right back, wherever you do end up playing the card. 82 shooting was absolutely phenomenal in those three games. 85 attacking position. 83 finishing 86 shot power uh he was very clinical in those three games and we even managed to score a few long shots with him and then last but not least boys in the card standout stat his 88 dribbling 88 agility 94 balance he felt extremely quick and swift in game i do also want to go ahead and mention that his passing was really really accurate in game it wasn't anything too crazy but again it was an accurate stat 77 defending i feel like his defending isn't the greatest you should probably play him in uh, either the center mid or right mid right wing position and then also his physicality absolutely incredible physical stats 95 stamina is absolutely huge so boys we come to the question is this sbc worth it and i'm gonna go ahead and say yes overall boys i'm gonna go ahead and give the card a 8.8 .8 out of 10 rating like i said it's a really solid card he's fairly cheap from the bundesliga if you are running a bundesliga team i highly recommend you guys pick him up if you do already have your meta team probably stay away from the spc just because i don't think that he's better than those meta players like marquisio uh, flashback Pogba and just to name a few but that is going to be the end of today's video guys if you guys did enjoy go ahead and smash the like button comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another FIFA 23 player review and also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 1400 subscribers thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video I've been your boy Bulba and I'll catch you guys in another video very very soon peace